Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get a PP counter in OS for Almos. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website right here, which I'll have a link for in the description, and open this tab na named Usage and Download. You're going to scroll down in this tab to the Advanced option and download this Advanced file. It'll, it will be a .7z file which you may need a file opener if you don't already have one, such as WinRAR, and you're going to extract that file to the desktop. You should get this file right here called sync. You're going to open this and go to sync.exe. It'll look complicated, but it's really not. The first thing you're going to want to do is type O space I, which stands for OS inject, and you're going to want to press enter. It'll say waiting for OS to start, which means you just want to start OS. It'll say inject done right before the welcome screen for OS starts. It won't notice anything at first, but once you go into a game, you'll see right here a PP counter. And then when you exit out, it'll also have a PP counter for the uh, how much PP these will have up here. Every time you need to open OS, you will have to open this file and type O space I. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the position of the PP counter in your game, because you may not like that position. So the first thing you're going to want to do is run that sync.exe again and type O space I. It'll inject it into OS. You're going to open OS, just like normal as if you were starting the game. And you're going to go into a game, and you'll see that it's up here where it's not, you don't really quite want it. You're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this command prompt right here and type config. This should open this thing right here, which is a, where you can change all the different stuff. What you're going to want to do is go in-game overlay, open that, overlay config, and open editor. It's going to bring you to this, which looks quite complicated, but all you really need to know is this X, Y, X, Y, and X, Y, which changes the positions of the different things. For example, this right here will change this. Oh, sorry, this will change it. See how it moves across up here. So if I want it, like, for example, right there, I can have it right there. Or if I want it down here, I can have it down here. And then once you go into a game, it'll be at the top left so you can just go here and change the position to right or down or wherever you want it even in the middle of the screen if you want thank you for watching please like and subscribe and if any of you have any questions just write them in the comments below and i'll be happy to help see y'all later